Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to share with you some really easy and fun, festive Valentine's Day DIYs, so if you guys want to see what I came up with, then please keep watching. In the corner, drinking by yourself on a Saturday night, you were the guy with your friends at the doorway, pretending that you had the time of your life, had we met before? All right, first things first is my conversation heart wreath. This one is so adorable. This one's probably my favorite. So what you're gonna need is some wood hearts. These are three inches wide. I did get them from Etsy because I did want them a little bit thicker. So here's what they look like when they're all done. I went ahead and did some off screen for you guys just to save time, but I got all of my paint colors at Michael's. I will list everything that I can down below, including all of the paint colors if you wanna recreate this. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and paint about three coats on these hearts just to make sure they're good and opaque if you can't or you don't want to buy the ones from Etsy's the ones that I bought you can definitely use the ones at Dollar Tree they're just gonna be very very thin so it's completely up to you I'm gonna be using these little red glitter stickers also for Michaels I did get two packs of them in hindsight I should have got three because I did have to fudge a few of the the letters later on you will see um, but yes I'm gonna go ahead and just start writing out my little quotes now I did a little Google search um, and tried to find some unique sayings. Of course, like the be mine, love you, love me, call me, all of those <laughs> are the classic quotes, but you can put anything you'd like on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I remember these candy conversation hearts. Nowadays you can't find the old school ones like these. Um, they are like already printed on the candy. They're not like written in with like red writing anymore. If you know what I'm talking about, then leave a comment down below. I used to love these candies. Some people say they taste like uh, Pepto-Bismol, but I really enjoyed them as a kid. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing these. This is what it looks like when I'm all done. Now I'm gonna be taking a bamboo hoop. It is 12 inches, also from Michaels. Now just for reference, I did use 12 wood hearts and it fit perfectly. I am gonna space them out just a little bit before I start hot gluing them down. Now I did not paint the back of these hearts. You can if you would like to, but you're not gonna see it. This is gonna go on my front door. It is so cute and so festive. I'm gonna go ahead and glue all of these down and then we'll be taking a very simple thin red ribbon and attaching that so we can hang it. I did get most of my supplies from Hobby Lobby and Michaels this time around. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. So, so cute. You can always make this bigger if you want a real statement piece. You can use bigger hearts or a bigger wreath. Completely up to you. All right, next up on the conversation heart wagon is our picks. Now I made these out of these little uh, chunky heart sticks. They were from Hobby Lobby. Everything that I got from Hobby Lobby was 40% off. Some of it was even 50%, just keep that in mind. Here are some that I already did. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did earlier and just paint the hearts. I did paint three coats of this paint. So I'll be using the same stickers as before. As you will see, I ran out of E's and U's, so I kind of had to make my own. Don't mind that. If it bothers you, you can definitely you know, get some more stickers. It depends on how many of these you want to make. So after that is all done, we're gonna take that same ribbon and just tie a cute little dainty bow, and these are done. Super simple. Now you can put these in a wreath like I did. You can put them in a floral arrangement. There's so many options for these. I just love them so much. All right, next up is our XOXO sign. I did get this little wood sign from Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off, so I paid about $4 for it. 
as well as the little XO XO letters. Those were 99 cents, I believe. Yes, and then they were half off, so super cheap. I'm gonna be using that same pink paint that we've been using for the conversation hearts. I'm gonna go ahead and paint a very thin layer on these beads. This is a little bit difficult, so do take your time. Um, I did not make it super opaque. I kind of just wanted a wash of color, so that's what I'm going for here. After that's done, we're gonna go ahead and paint the frame white. You can use any white paint you have. I use the acrylic paint that I got from Michaels. Chalk paint would probably be best because it's very opaque, um, but go ahead and do that. Make sure you paint the inside too. You wanna make sure that the rim and the inside rim is covered. So I was gonna put some paper on the inside here, kind of like decoupage the paper, but I thought this hot pink was really pretty and it would really make the white letters pop. So I went ahead and painted again about three coats of this pink paint. So everything is cohesive, the pink matches the pink beads. So once that's dry, here's what it looks like. I'm gonna be taking my letters and just kind of placing it on there. I'm not gonna glue it down yet because I'm gonna add some embellishments to it. So I found these really cute like uh, plastic flowers from Michaels, they are stickers. And then I had some of this green vinery left over from last year's DIYs and then some rhinestone heart stickers. So here I'm just arranging our flowers and our leaves. I did go back through and add some more of those little heart gems at the end just for an extra little glam touch. But I really love this sign, it was super simple to do. You can find stuff similar in the stores to purchase but I really wanted to make a sign myself. So I hope you guys like it. So here's what my little letters look like after I embellish them. So this is why I did not glue it down. I wanted to make sure all my flowers were in a good position before I glued the letter down to the back of the sign. I hope you guys don't mind my voice. I did just get over another cold. <laughs> I am about seven months pregnant and I got another cold. Uh, not COVID or anything, but definitely congestion and I lost my voice and a little bit of a cough. Um, so I'm trying to recover. So don't mind my groggy, froggy voice. I've been waiting days to film. Now, like I said, I went back through and added our rhinestones just for final little touch. This one came out super cute. My daughter loves it. She wants to put it in her room. <laughs> so I think I might give it to her. She absolutely loves hot pink, but this sign is adorable. All right, last but not least is our mini Valentine's card frame. I thought this was so cute. Now these stickers from Michaels and Hobby Lobby were the inspiration. I saw them online, but I didn't think I was gonna be able to get my hands on them. So I ended up buying these little mini envelopes from Etsy, they were like two bucks. So cute, and there's an actual little piece of paper inside the envelope, love it so much, so adorable. And I got some more embellishments from Michaels and a white frame. So basically I'm just going to take the back of that frame, glue down that white insert that comes with it just so we have a nice clean base. I'm gonna start arranging my cards. So I was going to just use the cards initially, but I thought it'd be really cute to mix it up. I ended up taking out some of the uh, little Happy Valentine's Day cards from the insides just because my handwriting is not good. If you guys' handwriting is, is really nice, you can write little messages on these envelopes. That would be really cute. Um, but like I said, mine is terrible. It's like chicken scratch. So I took some of it out and I put it in some of the envelopes, left some of them closed, and then put a little embellishment, like a little jewel on it. You'll see here in a minute. I really love this one. It came out super pretty. I was surprised when I found these envelope stickers in the store. They sold out right away online. So I did get pretty lucky there. But this one is adorable. It's just a nice little touch to add to your Valentine's Day little display. Here's what it looks like. It is so, so precious. I gave my daughter a few of the leftover envelopes. They are so adorable. I really love anything mini. It's just so cute to me. I don't know why. So here's what it looks like when it's back in the frame. I'm gonna take those little embellishments. Um, they're like little cardstock embellishments. Happy Valentine's Day, love, sweet, stuff like that. There also came um, some hearts in the package, some glitter hearts. So I'm gonna glue those down just for an added little extra decorative touch. 
and then we'll go back through and bring in some more of those heart gems just to tie in everything. And you got me too. You can ride out the blue. I want to do what you want to. And here's what it looks like when it's all decorated. Really, really precious. Hey, someday, someday. All right, guys, that's my Valentine's Day DIYs. Again, I apologize for my froggy voice. I hope you guys don't mind. I've been waiting and waiting to film until I finally have a voice again. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments down below which DIY was your favorite. Mine is definitely the conversation hearts. I love anything conversation hearts. So I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm gonna be posting more regularly, I promise. I should be through the sickness. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.